The Grinch. You know, I was trying to think of my favorite Dr. Seuss story, and I couldn't come up with one, but The Grinch is up there. It's up there. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for The Grinch. I really do appreciate it. Now, uh, The Grinch is not anything that I was too excited about, but I was somewhat looking forward to it. I don't know. I think I only saw the trailer maybe like once or twice before it came out. Um, but it was just something about it that did look intriguing to me. Um, the Grinch is based off Dr. Seuss, a bunch of books that came out way back in the day. I mentioned in my intro, I really couldn't think of my favorite one. I mean, I do like The Grinch, of course, and also uh, Green Eggs and Ham. Now, this film is being put out by Illumination Studios, uh, who did Despicable Me. Uh, this is their eighth film. Uh, it's being directed by Yaro Chaney and Scott uh, Morrison, or excuse me, Morsier. Uh, I'm not too familiar with their work. When I looked at their filmography, the only thing that I recognized on there was The Secret Life of Pets. Um, so that is the extension of their experience when it comes to this new animated comedy family film. But when it comes to the Grinch, of course, we pretty much know who the Grinch is. He's a grump, he's a grouch, and he steals Christmas. I believe the last film was in 2000 with uh, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas with Jim Carrey. And I did not, I don't think I saw that movie. So going into this, it's been a while since I've seen any type of Grinch material. And the first thing I noticed was the voice of the Grinch uh, being played by Benedict Cumberbatch or whatever. You know, he's Doctor Strange in the MCU. I like Benedict Cumberbatch. And the first thing I noticed about this film, like I just said, was his voice. And I'm not really used to hearing the Grinch talk. And I really don't think anyone is. But I say that because when I, the film started off, I was a little turned off by the voice. I don't know why. It just kind of seemed off to me, like why the Grinch should be talking. Maybe he did that back in the day. I really don't remember uh, other than the book. But initially, it was just a little bit jarring for me. I don't know. If you know Mr. Bean... Rowan Atkinson is a British comedy from the 90s. You know, there was really no dialogue in his uh, in his uh, in his show in his sitcom. You know, he was just kind of like, rrr, 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 you know, all the time. And so that's kind of how I really just envisioned the Grinch. But, you know, hearing him talk, that kind of just threw me off for a bit. But after a while, I got used to it, and I really did like Benedict Cumberbatch's voice. It really did fit the character and everything else that the film had to do with. Uh, also, another voice actor that I liked in this was Kenan Thompson. You know, Kenan McHale from the 90s. He plays in the uh, Saturday Night Live. I liked him. He was, um, you know, I don't mean to sound too friendly when I say this, but, you know, he was just a cute little character, you know, just a, a, a short, fat, chubby, happy, jolly uh, black man with the beard. I guess you can call him a black Santa Claus in this movie. Uh, but his name was uh, Mr. Bricklebaum or whatever. And I, I don't know. I just, you know, every time he spoke in the film, you know, I kind of smiled to myself. Uh, got planes going all around. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Uh, but something else that I really did like about the film is the music, the score, and the soundtrack. Uh, it was a mixture of everything, like a, um, a orchestra and just some uh, hip hop beats that I've never heard of, or like um, uh, just versions of the Grinch. Like, oh, you're the I, I forgot what's the I forgot the name or how the song goes with the Grinch, but you know they did that with kind of like a little hip hop vibe, and I liked that I was feeling. I was kind of tapping my feet. And, you know, bobbing my head just a little bit. The movie is also pretty funny. It's not like laugh out loud, but this film is tailored more to children than adults because, you know, in these days they do have the, like, The Incredibles, especially part one or both of them is where it's tailored to adults, but it's still kid friendly. This film, The Grinch, is kid friendly, but um, they still have a little nods to jokes, especially with uh, the Grinch's personality. There's a lot of dry humor to his personality and sarcasm and him being facetious and things like that. And of course, m adults can uh, uh, can relate to that. And that was, that was one of the funnier elements of the movie. Again, I want to say it wasn't just laugh out loud, but throughout the movie, not just Spotty, but throughout the movie, I was chuckling to myself a lot, just like, <laughs> you know, and that's it. And if you, you know, kind of do that consistently throughout the movie, I think, you know, that's, you know, um, you're in for a good time. Something else that I noticed was the landscape of the whole movie in the vibrant color. This is a CG animated film, and it looked it looked, it looked pretty darn good. I did not see it in 3D. I saw it in 2D. But I remember the opening shot. Um, it was like a um, uh, a wide shot 
of just the landscape in the wilderness and had these birds right into uh, coming in the frame and flying over a mountain top and then going over the mountain top and it's just another big wide shot of all of a uh, Whoville with all the people and the buildings and things like that. It was a nice shot and I was thinking to myself, wow, I wonder how this will look in 3D. So if you're a 3D person, you may want to check it out in 3D. I don't know, but I, I, that's what I did think, you know, at the moment um, when I was watching this movie. Um, so I talked about the colors and that's great in the 3D. Uh, something else, you know, I was kind of smiling looking at this because uh, it, it took me back to my childhood. Now, this childhood dream of mine never came true, uh, especially with me living in Texas and Dallas, Texas, to be exact. It never snowed that much. You know, when I grew up, it probably snowed maybe once a year, maybe once every two years. And even if it did snow, it didn't stick. And uh, I always wanted to get like a little tube and go down like a snow hill. Never did it, but that's okay. Um, that is all right. But they had a lot about a lot of this in this movie, and I was smiling like, man, that looks like a whole bunch of fun. You know, I wish I can do that now. A few years ago, I did try to uh, use the top of a tub to go down my stairs. It didn't work out too well, kind of hurt myself a little bit, but hey, at least I tried. I can knock it off my bucket list. But the way they did it in this movie or whatever, it was kind of fun. I was like, oh man, you know, I kind of wish I was like a little kid right now um, so that I could, you know, go down a snow hill or something. It just seemed like a lot of fun. Uh, but more about the Grinch, let's talk about the Grinch and his motivation. Like, why is he so angry? And why is why does Christmas suck? And things like that. Well, the film did give you um, a reason why. And, you know, I like to know why. To be honest with you, I drank too much water this day when I saw the film. So I had to get up and go to the bathroom doing, during the movie. I know, I know. I, I was I was trying to hold it, but I just couldn't. So I missed a certain part where they were talking about like the origin and why he was so mad. But the part I did see, it didn't make sense. Um, also, another adult theme in this movie is uh, grief eating or eating while you're depressed and how that can really F up your life. Don't do that. I like how they kind of nodded to adults as far as that is concerned. Um, but the best thing that I really did like about this film uh, was the message. And that is really what the true meaning of Christmas is, whether you believe in Christmas or not, whatever. Um, here in the States, you know, Christmas is surrounded by just a lot of greed and just gimme, 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 gimme. I want, I want, I want, take, 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 take. I'm going to bust you over the top of the head to get the PlayStation version 7, Elite, whatever. Um, this film addressed that head on and showed that, hey, it's not a, that's not what the meaning of Christmas is. It's not about the lights. It's not about the decorations. I mean, you can imagine if the Grinch in this movie is trying to steal Christmas, if he stole it or not, and whether he did or not, you're just going to have to see the film. I really just like how the townspeople addressed it and just kind of show where, well, hey, I mean, all that stuff is nice, but it's really about love and caring for others and being around your family and, you know, just a, ton, a, a number of positive things. So I was like, hey, this is a nice lesson that little kids can learn if they decide to see this movie. So parents, it is up to you. Um, go take your kids to go see this. It's a pretty decent movie, and I enjoyed it for the most part. Yeah, you know, it says it's ninety minutes, but I think that's a lie. Uh, when I saw this early in the week, the screening started at seven o'clock, and when I walked out, I looked at my phone, and it was eight eighteen. So it was less than an hour. It was like less than uh, eighty minutes, uh, dang near or whatever. But if I were to rate the Grinch out of a one out of ten, I would rate the Grinch a seven out of ten. Yes, a seven out of 10. But guys, that is just my opinion. Have you seen The Grinch or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you wonder why I was looking weird just like that, I was like, did I hit record? I thought I didn't hit record, but I did. Uh, guys, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine, but you can still subscribe to my channel. Um, you can also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All the good stuff it's right there at the bottom of the screen and i made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review uh, of the grinch and before you go don't forget to help me reach 10,000 subscribers and um again before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace